Okay, so here we are today in the Unreal Engine. This is Unreal Engine 5.3. Uh, and what I want to do is be able to get a landscape or a height map into my uh, into into the editor that actually has uh, a real world size. So I know how big my terrain is supposed to be. Uh, and before we do this, I think we're going to just dive directly into the into the documentation. So this is this is the the 5.3 documentation landscape technical guide uh, link provided in the description. Uh, and I think the most important section here uh, is the recommended landscape sizes right here. But we also need to look at calculating height map and Z scale. Uh, but we'll you'll notice that. Uh, the documentation recommends specific figures for generating landscapes and the TLDR here is if you're looking to make a landscape that's a specific size then this overall size in vertices is the number you want to look at uh, and the one that we're going to specifically look at today is going to be this 4033 by 4033 and essentially unless you scale uh, the terrain itself this will be basically meters so it'll be 4033 meters by 4033 meters uh, and then we need to plug in these other numbers to keep it in line with the recommended settings uh, and then up here I'm not going to go through this but it also gives you a formula for calculating the height of your terrain as well so if we pop back into the engine, I've already gone through this with this uh, and uh, and I've also figured out how uh, much I need to scale my terrain to make it correct. But let's go through the process of importing that. So this is quite simple. And um, what we can do here is we can press shift two on the keyboard and it will bring up the uh, landscape mode. You can also use this drop down here and you can switch back and forth from selection mode to, to landscape just like that. Uh, and from here, uh, I need to point towards my height map. Uh, and this is important to remember. Um, you, you could import a version of your height map that is 4096 by 4096. But if you want to be precise, uh, it's probably better to create a version of your height map that's actually uh, 4033 pixels by 4033 pixels, which is what I've done here. Uh, so if I select that uh, height map, uh, there we go. Uh, so it's brought in our height map. If we uh, choose the height, not the base color, um, you can see. Well, I, because I'm very familiar with this terrain, I know that the the height of the terrain uh, needs to be 220 percent, which is already in there. So it, by default, it'll come in at 100 percent like that, and I, I I can tell that that's not correct. The height is too low. So if put 220 in there after following that formula or another thing we could do is we could actually measure it which we might do in a, in a second once we've imported the terrain next thing I want to do is make sure that my other numbers are in line with the recommended settings so 63 by 63 quads is fine the documentation recommends sections should be 2 by 2 uh, number of components if we bring this down to 32 by 32 like so, then we can see our total number of components is 1024. So all our numbers are now in line with the documentation. And I'm ready to just uh, import my terrain like that. And uh, with any luck, it should just appear like so. Now, uh, the lighting, a quick fix for the lighting would be to simply just select the terrain in this circumstance. And if I just raise up by quite a considerable amount like that, it should just be above it would be lit like that. Um, ideally, you want to build your lighting correctly. Uh, but here we are. The terrain's in, and it's the correct scale. Uh, 